Boo. If, do you get it? Boo. Like, I've scared you because it's, it's coming up to Halloween. Anyway, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about, of course, uh, by the title, because that has to be the title to get views, KSI versus Logan Paul 2, the rematch. Obviously, we talked about it a lot on this channel, so if you do want to see my other videos on that, me talking about it, me watching, you know, the trailers and stuff, go head over to the channel now and watch the videos. Subscribe if you are new around here, you know, I upload daily content. Not the best, but I upload daily content. Hit the like button if you are a fan of any of these. Like, like for Logan, like for KSI, so you're going to have to just like either way. Or if you don't care, just like anyway, and hit that notification bell. I want to give my predictions now, like more specifically, like I've, I meant, I've said, I've mentioned before, but obviously more press has come out, uh, more of the DAZN, Sky Sports Boxing, uh, Matchroom Boxing, you know, okay, so and Logan have released their own sort of like 40 day, I don't know if they filmed it, they probably didn't film it, it was probably Sky Sports or a big company, but you know, they're like 40 days, they're training camps, and I just want to say respect to both of them first of all, they have worked hella hard, hella fucking hard, so you got to take your hat off to them, whether you are, you know, a true boxing fan or not, you got to respect, they are training, fighting like, and sparring, whatever, like professional boxers, like heavyweight champions, you know, like KSI's got the Mayweather's on their side, and you know, Logan Paul's got Shannon Briggs, alright, we have to say his name, but anyway, like as much as, you know, people do say it is for money, that may, may well be the case, but they're still training them to be fully you know, ready, war ready fighters and respect to both of them because any YouTuber really can just, you know, have a little spa, have a boxing match, but to do what KSI Logan are doing are just changing the game. And I think the zone and people like that and Sky Sports will hook onto this and they'll realise the, first of all, the viewing figures because they're going to be insane on the night. Um, the new audience is bringing the younger audience because box and also the fact that boxing you know is coming back like it hasn't been as big as it is and it's starting to get there now because of these two you know social media stars such to say so everything they're doing for the YouTube community for the internet community and also just for boxing as well people don't understand people are starting to get just why it's good for boxing now and good for the fans it's getting more people into the sport and inspired you know at young age to start fighting which is always good Obviously, you have Logan Paul, which is, he's blonde kid, kid from Ohio, that sort of wrestling background, wrestler background that he used to play in state, and, you know, he's, his frame right now has been bigger than ever, like, I mean, obviously, I haven't seen him in real life like that, I mean, I saw him at the fight, but I mean, recently, but from just looking at the videos in his frame compared to just people next to him, he looks massive, like, fucking huge, more than he's ever been, so... That's one thing to, to take into consideration. He's obviously athletic background and everything. But then again, as we all know, shape and size and, you know, your physique doesn't really matter because, as you've seen with Andy Ruiz and Joshua coming up the rematch soon as well, right, Ruiz won Unified Heavyweight Champion of the World now to Anthony Joshua, which is uh, like Logan again, almost, pretty much the same body, a big frame, big shape and size, quite frankly, so it's more about the boxing technicality, I think, and both of them have got them teams, you know, the Mayweathers, the Shannon Briggs and the other people, to, I'm saying just Shannon Briggs, it's not Shannon, it's not just Shannon Briggs, he's got uh, Milton Supreme, he's got some other people there that have, you know, worked heavyweight champions, so they've both got strong teams, they both are working hard and you can see that, because they're not really posting uh, much, and you can just see from the videos how hard they put them through, and at the end of the day, as much as we can say they're gonna get the bag, which they probably they will, they are gonna get a bag. It's not just like a thing for money, because there's easier and like they said, safer ways to make money. It's more of a pride and ego thing, which you know they're big, two big personalities. So fair play to them. So sometimes ego is a bad thing. I think in this scenario, ego is needed definitely because it's a fight. You're going to be punching each other in the face. The fact that it's down, it was from 12 ounce gloves to now 10 ounce gloves. Each hit, each jab, each hook, uppercut, it's going to be so much more powerful. I think people are underestimating it. Even though it's two ounces, it's going to make so much difference. As well as I'm having a whole another year of training, Logan is going to have the advantage of the jab once again. KSI is going to have that 
I'm not sure if he's gonna fight the same, like rough sort of like a dog as Logan described as a, as a bitch. <laughs> no, but like going on the inside, I think he's still gonna go on the inside, but he's gonna be more tactical with it. I think his defensive game because of the Mayweather's, like Floyd Mayweather, is gonna be very, very, very good because you know you got offense and defense, and you know people underrate you know the defending of some of these world class boxers sometimes. It's real fight, really, really, really. Blah, blah, blah. Real as it can be, you know, it's been presented on TV. I've seen the advert like four times this week on different sports channels and on TV. Um, they've got heavyweight boxers on the undercard like Billy Joe Saunders, Devin Haney. Obviously, of course, the meme, the no context lad of the universe right now. Uh, and big name in boxing and promotion, Eddie Hearn. As much as we can, you know, mock him for the memes and stuff, like, he's a big name when it comes to, you know, these, like, He's promoted world-class heavyweight champions of the world fighters like Anthony Joshua, like all these other big names you see when, like, the last five, ten years of maybe even more of watching boxing. I think at the start, yes. Like, I remember the first, not the first KSI versus Joe Weller, but the first, you know, KSI versus Logan Paul fight. At the start, there was, like, doing the floss and things like that did put people off and saying it's just a YouTube fight. But I can assure you now, it is not going to be a, a YouTube shitty fight. It's going to be, it will, like Eddie Hearn said, it's not going to look off. The last one didn't look off if it was on a pro fight. And this one definitely will look like a pro fight. And yes, I don't think they have, have they're not going to, as much as they can say, I think, like, after this, I'm, I'm not sure what they're going to do, but they're not going to get to a stage where the heavyweight champions of the world. Like, it's just not possible. Like, I think, you know, I'm all into the, yay. Yeah, believe in yourself, work hard, but I'm, just, I'm talking realistic now, they're just not going to be because they haven't had that childhood and growing up fighting all their lives, so that's down the pan, but like KSI even admitted he probably won't be that like that anymore, but Logan apparently thinks he can. But regardless of that, they can be very good, decent for just being YouTubers, KSI gaming in his room, Logan Paul doing six second vines, seven second vines, to becoming good, good pro fighters that you can watch and be entertained by and not just, you know, be a slug. I mean, it it, pro it could be a slug fest, and, but I, it, I, I guarantee it won't be boring though. And somebody is getting knocked out 100%. I'm putting it money down now, quote back on this video. If you're watching this after the fight, I was right, yay. If I'm not, then GG. <laughs> Someone is getting knocked out because they're, they're going to be training I'm, I'm assuming, without head guards, this is a big thing, and also, you know, the, the, the 10-ounce gloves down from 12, which is going to be more impact, but even still in sparring, like with any boxer, you don't go ham, and you don't go full-on in sparring, you're not trying to kill each other, rip each other's head off, nowadays anyway, speaking, maybe years ago, and I think when KSI and Logan Paul get in their ring, and they are literally trying to rip their, each other's heads off, it's going to be a different game. And I do feel like one thing to take into consideration is as soon as that first big punch is landed, I think that could change the game. Like with Joe Weller, like the other person is going to... I think they have to keep the call. Cool. If they panic, it's over for them, I feel like, whether that's Logan or KSI. It's hard. I've always been a KSI fan from day one. I didn't used to like Logan Paul maybe three, four years ago. Like, over the last two years, I've been watching his content and I do like him as a person a lot and enjoy his content. So I do sort of equally like both of them. I guess I slightly have more loyalty to KSI. But regardless of that, to be as most honest as I can, I do feel like KSI is going to get the W in this. I don't think he says it's going to be around 5KO. I think it's going to be around three stoppage. A bit like Joe Weller. It's going to be a Joe Weller repeat. Um, but I don't think it's going to be easy. I mean, if it's a draw again, then Logan Paul versus KSI versus Logan Paul 3. Like, I'm done here if that happens. No, but for real, it's going to be an entertaining fight. I hope you lot are watching it. Well, you have to watch it. Like, if you don't watch it, then you are just a stagnant rock. I don't even know what I'm saying. It's a fight that you don't want to miss. And I'm not even, like, I'm not a promoter. I'm not trying to promote this. Like, there's going to be eyes on it anyway. I'm just saying... I'm gassed for it, I'm excited, but also I'm just very intrigued in who is going to come out on top. It's so hard to judge, I could, I say it's going to be KSI, but it could be Logan, because he is training, like I know they're both people that when they put their mind to something and they work hard, they work really, really hard 
to achieve their goals. And but at the same time, I think last time Logan even said it. I think either in an interview or in some sort of in his impulsive podcast that he was slightly he had a bit of anxiety for the last one, and it sort of got to him a bit like the Joella thing. And with all the crowd, even though it's that's the thing, it's on his home turf, but there are still a lot of KSI fans in America. Like a lot of people just still don't like Logan Paul to be honest, and Jake Paul, which is you know it is what it is. But with the whole crowd going and their final, like to them, I think it's. They don't even sing another fight. They just think I'm gonna win. Like, it's the only chance, and I think you know there is that. There probably is that fear of losing, even though they say they don't. Don't think about it. Hey, I'm gonna win 100. There is going to be that fear for both of them on the night, probably struggling to sleep, and they're going to be. I don't think both of them will be. They might seem calm when they walk out. You know, be you know doing being showmen as they are. But when it comes to that bell ringing, that first bell, round one. I feel like all hell's gonna break loose. Like, I don't think it's gonna start slow. If it does start slow, then I feel like that's good. It will show more profession professionalism of the fight. But I feel like one of them is gonna come after the other, start jabbing, punching, hooks left, right, and centre. Uh, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be very interesting because you know KSI he's good at doing them haymakers, and Logan Paul's good at that jab, and he's got speed. But KSI's got that. Natural strength, that's just weird. Like a lot of people saying it, like Badu Jack, Vidal, Leon, all these people, he's got that like inner strength. And all the Mayweather said it. Then Logan's got that speed, he's got that you know, boxing IQ, but then so does KSI. So it's very difficult. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below who you think is going to win your predictions. My prediction KSI, round three, stoppage, TKO, not KO. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please subscribe down below if you're not already, like you should be. Hit that like button, click that notification bell, wherever it is on the screen. I'll see you guys in a bit. Now your vids hold no weight, like Titanic channel sinking to the ground. Talking your piece on the web, karma always come around. Eating up these W's, can't you see I have the crown? Feasting on you enemies, dead and buried in the ground. Digging your own hole in the soil of what I found. Your shit inconsistent, I don't really fuck around. Some respect on my name, you playing with the hounds I've been waiting, I've been saving all these bullets, all these rounds And I wonder why this hate, all this hate don't come around I'm the king to the front of this shit, wearing the crown Flooding all you haters, you ain't shit, now you left to drown